Hello and welcome back to our six part series, I don't need no stinking realtor, buying a home without the help of a real estate agent. In today's episode, negotiation tips and submitting your offer without an agent, we're diving into the art of negotiation when going solo. Let's get started. Negotiating without an agent puts you directly in the driver's seat to finding common ground with the seller while ensuring your interests are well represented. Today, we'll share tactics to help you navigate this crucial phase of the home buying journey. Our first tactic, know your limits. Establish your budget and priorities beforehand. Understand the highest price you're willing to pay and the contingencies you're comfortable with. This clarity will guide your negotiations and prevent overcommitting and ending up house poor. Next up, look to understand the seller's motivation if possible. Understanding why they're selling can give you valuable insights. Are they relocating, downsizing, or looking for a quick sale? Tailor your offer and negotiation strategy based on their motivations and timeline preferences. In negotiations, respect goes a long way. Respond promptly to the seller's communications and be courteous and professional in your interactions. A positive and cooperative attitude can foster goodwill when emotions run high, making negotiations smoother and more productive. Now let's talk about the art of compromise. Identify areas where you can be flexible without compromising your priorities. It's about creating a win-win situation that benefits both parties. Finding common ground more often leads to successful negotiations. Imagine the seller is requesting a faster closing, but you need a bit more time. You compromise by agreeing to a slightly accelerated timeline, but with the consideration that all necessary inspections are completed within your preferred time frame. Before you hit send or drop off your offer, run through your checklist. Is the purchase price competitive? Have you included a solid earnest money deposit? Are your contingencies well defined? Do all of your dates line up appropriately? Your well-prepared offer is like wrapping your dreams in a neat package. But wait, there's more. Before you seal the deal, consider including a deadline for the seller's response to create a sense of urgency if a deadline hasn't already been set. This can help move the negotiation process along and increase your chances of securing the property before competition shows up. Negotiating without an agent requires a blend of strategy, flexibility, and respect. Know your limits, gather insight if possible, and master the art of compromise. By following these tactics, you're well on your way to securing the home you've always wanted. If you found these negotiation tactics helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more expert tips, and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay tuned for our next and final episode where we'll continue empowering you in your home buying journey. Thanks for joining and happy negotiating.